Hi YouTube, how's everyone doing? Um, today I'm going to do a haul video of some stuff I've been collecting and some stuff that I picked up today. Um, first, I want to show you guys what I have on my lips. At first, when these um, just bitten stuff came out by L'Oreal, it was Revlon, Revlon, I didn't really think it would come out right on me, so I never purchased it. But I got two of them today, and I have this on today. I have this, it's called Just Bitten. This, I don't know what color this is. But here it is. It's like this. It has the lip balm on one side. And it has the lipstick thing on the other side. The applicator like crayon. On the other side. So I have this. I put the lip balm on first. Then I put this on after. And I use my MAC chestnut pencil to line my lips. And then I use this over it. Which is Revlon. Color stay. I put this over it, and then I used, yeah, that's what I did, yeah, I used this, move this, and this, to get this look. Yeah, so, I'll start with the lip product first. Anyways, um, like you guys saw already, I got this today, I like it a lot. I think it's really pretty. I think it's a nice pinky nude for your lips. And of course, you guys already saw this. I got this just the in also. Like a nice color. I'm going to pair these two together. It's going to be a really nice look. And I got this also by Revlon. It's like a glowy, kind of glittery, lip balmy thing. Excuse the background, um, watching Vampire Diaries. Um, so that's my lip these, lippies that I got today. And I'm going to show you some of the color tattoo that I picked up in the past. And it, the two that I got recently. I got the one called, um, Tenacious Kill. It looked like this. Then I got, um, Edgy Emerald. Which looked like this. Edgy Emerald. Then I got um, pomegranate pink, punk, look like that. And I got this, which is top as top. Look like this. So today I picked up the painted purple. This is called painted purple. Look like that. And also I picked up the too cool. Like this too cool. It. Yeah, it's a nice little color you can use all the time. And I also got the Milani Big Bronzer. Look like this. This is called Golden Big Bronze. I'll do a swatch for you guys. That's how it is. You can use it as a nice contour if you're a lighter complexion than I am. You can use that all over the face for my kind of complexion. And I also got this, the All Over Glow from Milani. The Milani Bronzo XL looks like this. You can use that as a highlight and use that as a contour color. So those are my face and lip paste and eyes. And I also went ahead, I wanted to try some nail polishes. Um, I saw some nail polishes on um, the mag magazine I was looking at, so I forgot the name. But I saw this color and I was so in love. It's called Posh. The model actually had this color on her finger, so I picked it up today. It's called Patch Number 571 by Revlon. And I also got, I wanted to see if I could find um a nice, quick, dry coat. And I got this one by Revlon. And I got this color, I think it's really pretty. You can see that. This is called Flirt by Revlon. And I got this base color, base coat by Revlon. Really pretty. I'll use that to base my nails. And I'll try and see. I'll do one hand with the Revlon stuff and I'm going to do the other hand with NYC to see if it's really worth it to spend all that money, you know, on polish. If you go to more inexpensive route. So, I got the NYC polishes. Look like that. This one is the base coat by NYC. 
So it's called Top Coat, but it looks like the base coat of Revlon. It fell down. Sorry, guys. Hold on a second. Yeah, this is the um Top Coat. You see that? By NYC, and this is a Quick Dry by NYC. So I'm gonna try out this Quick Dry by um Revlon and this one by NYC and see if there's any difference. And I'll do a comparison video, let you guys know if you need to spend all that money on, you know, nail polish. Or, probably they're all the same thing. I even when I got an um, upper end polish. This one is by Essie. It's the top coat. Um, I'm going to see if this will actually keep the polish on longer. I'm going to compare this top coat with the Revlon top coat and the NYC top coat. And another top coat and see. Make a video and let you guys know if it really matters the brand on how long it will last. So here it is. This is the SC top coat. And I saw two pretty colors but I went in wild. Mega last. And I love the brushes applicated on them. So I got them. It's the orange color and it's a teal or turquoise. This one is called I Need a Refreshment. It looks like a Rev the Revlon mint polish that I got before. I need a refreshment. And this one is called Club Havana. I think it's really pretty. So, um, I haven't wear nail polishes that much because they always chip and they don't last. But since I, I got some new top coats and some base coats and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and try them and see if it will make any difference. Because I would love for my polishes to last for at least a week or a week and a half. That would be really cool. So I don't polish my nose mat that much. And my toes I just polish every now and then. So that's that guys. Let me show you how my hair look at the end of the day. Had a long, rough, tough day. I'm going to take a shower right now. Until my hair came out. And I love this messy, big look that it has at the end of the day. So I might cut this side. I might angle this side some. I'm going to take some out of this side. Some more so I can match this side. But yeah, guys, I know I sound a little down and stuff. I had a long day, so I'm going to take a shower, and I'll talk to y'all another time. Bye!